Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to May I Scrap Lift You. Today I am scrap lifting Law of Craft and I really love this layout that she had with all of these tags on it. And I don't use tags super frequently in my layouts so I thought this was a good opportunity to use them. And I have this per, uh, perfect photo to document um, dinner out with my sister and my husband just uh, as things are kind of opening up after you know being shut down for quite some time at co during COVID, um, we actually had the opportunity to eat indoors, but we still chose to eat outdoors. Um, there was actually nobody else in the restaurant, but we still went outside just uh, because it was a beautiful day outside. So why not? Um, there is a picture of the two of them at the table inside while we're waiting for our food. This is like a um, it's, it was just like a little happy house restaurant. If you guys know what that is, it's a, like a Japanese fast food. Um, and so of course all of the indoor seating had been closed for quite some time. And, um, the, uh, outdoor dining, they didn't really have that at the time because they only have like two outside tables at this particular location. So anyway, I just thought I would document that and then I'm making my tags there trying to figure out what I want to do. I had this vellum piece that ha says enjoy on it. It was already a vellum tag, but I wanted to put a background on it because I didn't really like that you could see the other papers through it. So I just chose a piece of kind of a cream color cardstock to put behind it and I don't know quite why I took chose cream over white, but um, that's what I chose. <laughs> so um, you could see there that I used another tag as kind of like a, a template to cut the tags that I am creating myself out of cardstock. And it's not really hard to create a tag, but um, cutting the top is, you know, you can cut it just at an angle on the corners like these are. I do have a tag punch, but it only does two inch wide pieces and I wanted my tags to be wider for this particular layout. So I decided to do a little bit of packaging technique and I'm using my Heidi Swap Color Shine for this. This particular color is called is teal and which looks more blue to me than teal and then I'm going to add some green and the, that one is called patina and of course they're color shine so they're they I don't even think Heidi Swap makes these anymore but um, in case you have them and you wanted to know what colors I used, that is uh, the color combination. And I do believe I add some pink to this as well. So, and I, I do want those colors to be kind of light and airy on the layout, so I'm not putting them on super heavily. And yep, I do add a little bit of pink here, and I do water that one down quite a bit because I don't want it super bold. Um, I want it, like I said, a little bit light and airy. And I'm just using the same piece of packaging as you can see there. I'm just wiping it off with a baby wipe and going with it. And since I'm not putting it on super heavily, um, it doesn't require a lot of, um, I don't have gesso on the paper or anything like that, um, it, but it doesn't warp a lot because I'm not putting a, a heavy amount on it. Okay, and so I've pulled these tags um, and I'm just kind of lining them up, trying to figure out how I want them lined up. And I think one of the biggest reasons that I don't use tags often in this particular manner is because I never know what to do with the string at the top. And it <laughs> it's something that I kind of struggle with. And even on this layout, I kind of played with it for a little while. I did not make you sit through all of the playing with it. Um, but I will tell you a little bit about that process. So I am backing my photo on white uh, cardstock. And I use the four and a half by six and a half inch photo mats from Hobby Lobby. And it's just like a whole stack of them. I buy them by the bundle in black, white, and cream. And so that I don't have to just cut into like a whole 12 by 12 sheet of paper. It makes it really easy to throw away the little extra bits. I don't feel like I'm, you know, have a bunch of 12 by 12 paper that's been cut into or anything like that. So um, I am popping up this particular one onto some foam tapes, the one that says enjoy, just so it gives it a little bit added dimension. And uh, I am going to use the liquid glue to adhere it because uh, I find that liquid glue holds better on the foam tape than my tape gun. And so that is almost always what I use. 
not maybe not 100% of the time, but almost always. So I had started with that piece of string that you see laying across there. I had started by putting it through, um, weaving it back and forth through all the holes, and I didn't like how it looked because the string was getting hidden behind some of them, so it looked like there was string only like on half of the top, half of the um, tag. You can see that from the right-hand side, there's string on the top, but then there's no string on top on the left hand side. I don't know, it just it just was not working for me. Um, I tried just weaving them through, I tried just weaving it through and going around the top and back through. Um, so this time what I did was I did it like I would do a tag. I put you know the loop through and then pulled both strings through the front and then I took one to the right and one to the left and I used these little clips that I had versus trying to weave it through the holes. And I liked how that looked a lot better. So um, that kind of solved the problem. It looks like they're kind of hanging from a clothesline instead of uh, instead of like that like they're strung through the holes, which I like this a lot better for some reason. And um, the piece that says enjoy, I just went through the piece of uh, string that is already on that particular tag. I did not like take that off obviously and put a little clip there. I just thought that one was okay hung that way and it looks fine to me. I did tie a knot in each end of that um, the string so I like that it gives a little added texture with that little knot there. I am trimming the whole piece down um, a quarter probably probably about an eighth of an inch on all four sides so that I have an uh, eighth, of, eighth of an inch reveal all the way around and um, I will back the entire layout with another piece of cardstock or um, patterned paper. And then I was trying to figure out what I was going to do for my title and I went to the sticker book from Amy Tangerine's new line, Brave and Bold. I think it's Brave and Bold, maybe it's Bold and Brave. Um, and the stickers in it are really kind of... Um, well, first of all, they're clear stickers, but they've they're they've got a pattern on them, and they're pretty bold. And so, uh, because the pattern on that tag on the left hand side is pretty bold, I decided that these stickers matched fairly well with that. And so, my title is going to be dinner out, and it's going to be on the tag on the right hand side. So it's kind of drawing those colors from that left hand tag all the way over to that right hand tag. And I really like how that looks because it brings the yellow in there. It brings kind of that reddish orange color, the pink, the teal, the darker blue. Um, and that that makes it, it look more cohesive to me. Even though the pink tag on the right and the teal tag with the photo on it kind of bring those colors over, um, I just felt like it. this just added to it. So... And then I will also do my journaling on that same tag that says dinner out on it. And I am just using my centering ruler. This is just a plain old centering ruler. You can get it on Amazon for under five bucks. And it's, if I think it's by Westcott. So, but if you just type in centering ruler, um, it should come up. It might not be the first option that comes up, but it will come up. There's my journaling added to it. I did add a um, a sticker to the side of that teal tag and it just says love on it and then the one up in the upper left hand corner says snapshots of our life and I thought that was appropriate because it really is just a snapshot of what we did at the, uh, on that particular day um, my sister is not in town that often so um, it, it's always nice to be able to spend time with her and it was kind of a weird week because we had uh, my mom had been in the hospital she and my sister extended her stay. Um, we had two deaths in our family. It was just kind of like a really wild ride for the week. So it was kind of nice just to be able to go out and enjoy just a quick meal with her. Um, so I, I did finally break into uh, my stickers from the Buenos Dias package. I don't have a lot of that collection, but I do have the sticker sheet, and I really like this piece that said perfect on it. I'm popping that up onto some foam. And I'm going to put that on top of that really colorful tag. And I thought it was perfect because it, um, well, actually it says perfect on it. But uh, I like the two different colored pinks on it, which really 
just tied into that tag perfectly. Funny that I'm using the word perfect so much right now when I'm sticking the word perfect down. Um, I do decide to add some foam tape to this sticker up at the top and I like how that looks. And I am going to add a little bit more up in that area. Um, but I'm going to, uh, here I'm going to just back my entire layout on black cardstock. This is very typical of me. I really like having a frame around a layout that has a white cardstock background, even if there's mixed media. I just think the frame kind of brings everything together. Um, I, and then I added that navy blue sticker that says, these are the days. And I thought that was perfect because this um, the tag that's really colorful has some navy blue on it. And then the um, title has some baby, uh, baby blue, navy blue alphas in it. And then the one that is right above the photo says risk taker. And I thought that's perfect because, um, you know, it's one of those first times you go out to eat after everything being closed up or going anywhere for the first time after everything being closed up. You feel like you're really kind of taking a risk. At least we did. Um, and so then I just used this sticker, a sticker. It's a stamp by Art by Art by Marlene from Studio Light. And it's like a little scribbly kind of a stamp. And I'm using the Jun Juniper Mist um, ink from... Catherine Pooler. I believe that's Juniper Mist. Actually, it might not be. It might be the teal color. Yep, it's teal. Um, and I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. And then I added those gold hearts to bring in more gold, like it, like where it says enjoy. And then I'm adding in a little bit more um, gold and navy blue by adding this washi tape. So there's a bunch of people playing along today over... Um, with Crystal Barrett and Pineapple Papers. She started this series. There's a bunch of people listed in my description box. You can check out all their links below and go and give them a bit of love. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below for me as well. Um, I will get back to you as quickly as I can. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video and spend time with me today. Um, if you don't mind hitting the like button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. And if you are, thank you for subscribing and choosing my channel. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye-bye.